Hey everybody, I'm the Hoppy Gamer, and welcome back. It's beer review time, and I'm continuing what I started last week with a couple of beers from my buddy Pat, and uh, just now looked at the list. This will be brand new for me, so let's get this party started. Okay, so like I just said, um, we got two beers from my buddy Pat. He's a home brewer. Brewer, there's that word again. And um, they're only labeled uh, with some scribbling on the top and a paper key that he's given me. So um, I just looked at them and I don't know what I'm going to do about these. This is going to be difficult for me to judge. These are two styles I've had next to none next to zero experience with so um, I don't know where to start I'm going to start with the orange blossom honey it's sparkling okay um, according to his list 13 and a half percent alcohol sparkling it's gonna pop when I open it um, I've got my I've got my little device so I can get on beer advocate and 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 know what the style is um, because I need to speak uh, smart about it. So I'm gonna go to styles. Actually, yeah, orange. it's just called Orange Blossom Honey. I don't know what that means. It's sparkling. So we're, we're just going right in. Um, pine glasses today are Marley's Muds, as you know. And this one, Opa Opa, from um, Southampton, Massachusetts, right in my sister and brother-in-law's backyard great little restaurant and they do brew their own beer um been a couple years since i've been back so here we go with the orange blossom honey expect the loud noise um no it will pop when you open it no it it hissed did not pop so let's go to the pour um it's not really a beer i don't think he's right very sparkly um lots of airy it's not even foam it's like a soda so it's just the carbonation coming out very pale color golden but pale man we need a i need like a second camera pointing down at the table yeah when i start making money i'm getting some ciderish ciderish um notes coming off of there wow wow that's sweet pat <clears throat> um it, whew, that's sweet i think if there's one on the list that he slipped in that he wasn't happy about this might have been it it's um almost syrupy sweet no, it is syrupy sweet. It's like a soda. It's like I'm drinking um, a faint orange, <laughs> alcoholic orange soda. So now, here's what I'm going to say. It's not a beer. Or maybe it is. Oh, I guess that's beer. It was brewed. But if I were to hand this to um, someone and say, this is a sparkling alcoholic orange beverage, I think they would say like, oh, that's interesting. And I may try this on my wife without telling her. Um, <clears throat> the orange blossom honey is overwhelming. It's, um, it's delicious, orange blossom honey, but not a delicious beer. So Pat, I'm going to have to go with uh, not my favorite on that one. So the first, the first one I've had of his that I, that I haven't enjoyed, but for what it, okay, because that's not what it's supposed to be. I'm sure that's not what he's going for. He's probably looking for something less syrupy. That's my guess. He didn't tell me anything about these beers. The only one on the list that I was um, familiar with were, were the, uh, the bourbon barrel ones because he had given me a bourbon barrel porter. I talked about that in my last video and after talking with him, um, it was a porter the first time. The BB King was a porter. The bourbon barrel I had last week is a stout. And I have another stout in the six pack. Don't have it today. Okay. AP Mead. 
I don't know what a mead's supposed to taste like. I've never had a mead. So I'm going to hopefully not talk too loud in my microphone. Um, I need to look up what to expect from a mead. Um, I have a I have a small idea that it's it's old fashioned. Okay, it doesn't look like they're going to give me any. There's no style on Beer Advocate for mead. So let me turn to Google Foo and talk about um, mead. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Mead, beer. Do you call that a beer? Or it's a mead. It's different. I think it's got a higher sugar content, maybe. I don't know how to search this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know how to search. What is a me? That's that's so amateur. Honey wine is the oldest alcoholic drink known to man. See, I knew it was old. Mead or honey wine is the oldest alcoholic drink known to man. It is made from the honey and water by a fermentation with yeast. It may be still carbonated, maybe still carbonated or sparkling. It may be dry, semi-sweet, or sweet. Unlike beers and cider, meads, being wines, are drunk in small quantities. Um, so perhaps this glass was inappropriate. Perhaps a goblet would have been more appropriate. I'm not going to leave the video for that. So he's got um, mead with apple cider and spices. Still, now I know what that means. Um, alcohol by volume wasn't beer. I didn't make good notes, at least not in my beer log. Okay, so we're looking at apple cider and spices um, in a still, so non-carbonated or sparkling um, barley wine. Very interesting. Okay, so we're not going to get ahead. Didn't expect it, and it wasn't there. So it's a little cloudy. Um, not a dissimilar hue as the orange blossom honey, but darker and cloudier, and it's got a little orange tinge to it. Um, apple cider and spices. Yeah, a little bit there. So... The apple rushes to your nose when, when you get it up near your face. Smelling in the glass is not really there, but as it gets close to your nose, um, the apple hits hard. And um, very uh, autumn, fall spices. I'm not good with naming those. Allspice maybe. There may be some pumpkin spice, but I, I don't think that's pumpkin spice, no. Maybe an allspice, um, clove type of flavor. Not overpowering there. Um, the apple flavor is good. I'm not getting really anything that I would call. It's a little sour, but not, um, you know, when you say uh, apple cider vinegar, you're thinking, well, it doesn't say vinegar, it's just apple cider. I don't know what a good mead tastes like is the problem. But I don't dislike this. It's it's filling. But then again, I just had a couple swigs of the of the orange syrup there. Um, <clears throat> this isn't bad. I don't know if it's good. That's a problem with both these beers. But I guess in the end, if you like something, it's good, right? So that's let's erase this. Is this a good mead? Bullcrap. If I was on horseback. Going across the English moors or the Irish highlands. And I was offered this in a cool jug out of someone's cellar. I think I would enjoy this immensely. Because of the um, just enough sweetness to, uh, to quench maybe a, a thirst. And the alcohol would of course warm your belly and make you a little jovial. And that's what they did with this stuff back then. So um, I'm going to call this meat good. Pat will tell me next week when I see him if uh, this, excuse me, or the orange blossom honey sparkling 
if either of these were on his unhappy with list, I'm thinking this is the one that didn't quite come out like he hoped. Um, because he left a note at the bottom. Besides, maybe I purposely slipped in a bad beer to make sure you're keeping it real. So he, he, you know, he played his hand. And I think this might be the one. Because I know the stout is probably fine because it was in his bourbon barrel. And I still have the other tortilla one. And I had the tortilla with the, the American yeast already, the California yeast. And we've got the French Saison yeast. So I don't think those are going to be the bad ones. So I think this is the one he's talking about. And I wouldn't call it bad. It's very different, very, very different. So, um, yeah, that's it for Pat this week. Um, him and I talked after my last review, and I gave him all my notes. Well, not my notes. He got, he got the video, my video notes. So we were good. So I wanted to talk about, I mentioned this on Twitter or Facebook or both. I don't remember. Um, I live in the Antelope Valley, California. If you don't know where that is, look it up north of um, Los Angeles, 60 to 100 miles, depending on, you know, how you measure what is what out here, because the Antelope Valley is pretty big, LA Basin is pretty big, so, you know, just over the mountains, as you head north into the high desert, as soon as the mountains stop and you can see for 50,000 miles, you're now in the Antelope Valley. No, there's no antelopes, supposedly there were in the, in the past, and there are, you know, horns and fossils and whatever, no antelope left, it's desert. Anyway, I live in the Antelope Valley. I live even more north than that. I get, I live out of Lancaster Palmdale makes up the Antelope Valley along with all its sur other surrounding small bedroom communities. And I live a little north of that. But anyway, Antelope Valley, Lancaster and Palmdale has, has in the last five to 10 years started a small amount of redefining itself as a retail area. Actually, if you want to talk about straight retail, it's been more than 10 years. But Lancaster, the city of Lancaster, started um, a few years back by renovating its downtown area. And when they did that, Lancaster Boulevard was redone. Um, what used to be a shady part of town, now you can walk through there at night. There's shops, there's restaurants. And we got our first glimpse at um, maybe an entertainment district. Part of that was Kinetic Brewery. Um, and a restaurant. I don't know, sorry if I have my mic. I don't know. So when Kinetic opened, I was not into craft beer. I, I, you know, this is rather new to me the last few years. And so when I went there, you know, you taste their beer, it's good. I've had like BJ's Brew House. It's not craft, but it's, you know, they act like their own brewery kind of thing. And, um, I don't know the order of which these all came to fruition in the Antelope Valley, but you had Kinetic Brewery, and then Bravery Brewery was founded in Palmdale with some local folks and a Hollywood actor, um, Arlie Ermey. He's from the Antelope Valley. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman from Full Metal Jacket. I believe he was either financial or otherwise involved in that founding. Bravery has some decent beers. Some really, actually, Bravery's got some really good beers. I've only had, I think, three of those beers. I, I need to stretch out. And this is what I'm talking about in this conversation. So the after that, <clears throat> amongst the home brewers in the area and the folks I don't know about, then you had Transplants and, and Lucky Luke pop up, which um, I believe came out of the home brew clubs. I, I don't know any of these guys other than Pat. But you started getting a conversation, at least, in the Antelope Valley about quality beer. We had a yard house open near our mall, which will bring in their chalkboard series. And so you can get different Southern California and sometimes a little farther out. Um, not really homebrew craft brew, but not major quality beers, for sure. And um, a couple stores open there. You know, we got a BevMo, that kind of thing. So... The Antelope Valley started getting infused with quality product finally, which in the past, Coors Light, Bud Light, and Corona were your beers of choice. So I like I like what's going on. I like that there's an appreciation for it. It's good to know that there's home brewers around and that it's starting to grow. So I hope I'm getting into this at the right time. And maybe this uh, Hoppy Gamer thing will, will take off for me and... and um, 
um, I can continue to enjoy it. So leave your comments below. I'm going to cut this video short since I'm rambling. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe. Share this with your with your beer loving friends. And um, this is my buddy Pat. I, I hope he starts branding this. I'm not. I don't mean selling it. But I think Pat needs to, um, if if it's his future, and I really think it is. He's you know he acts like oh you know if I lost my job I would do it. But other than that, he's really good, and he's better than he thinks. Um, so I hope he brands it, and I'd be happy to help him. Got your back, Pat. P. Ray. We can call it P. Ray. P. Ray Beer. P. Ray Brewery. P. Uh, well, we'll call it something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please share. Follow me on Twitter at HoppyGamer. On Facebook, facebook.com slash HoppyGamer. And I don't have an Instagram account, but you can follow my other. My Instagram account is all about me and my photography. Brett, Re Brett Weir underscore photography. B-R-E-T-W-E-I-R underscore photography. That's me. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.